What is the recommended compression depth for adult CPR? The recommended compression depth for adult CPR is at least 2 inches or 5 centimeters. In the treatment for acute pulmonary edema, what does the mnemonic P-O-N-D stands for? In the treatment for acute pulmonary edema, the mnemonic P-O-N-D stands for P. Position or positive pressure ventilation O. Oxygen N. Nitroglycerin D. Diuretics What is the first-line medication for shock refractory V-fib or pulseless VTAC? The first-line medication for shock refractory V-fib or pulseless VTAC is epinephrine 1 mg intravenous or intraosseous. What is the drug of first choice for symptomatic bradycardia? The drug of first choice for symptomatic bradycardia is atropine. Atropine is no longer recommended for routine use in PEA or asystole. True or false? True. Atropine is no longer recommended for routine use in PEA or asystole. Name the device used to confirm placement of the endotracheal tube. The device used to confirm placement of the endotracheal tube is continuous waveform capnography. What is the recommended rate of ventilations during CPR for a patient intubated with an endotracheal tube? The recommended rate of ventilations during CPR for a patient intubated with an endotracheal tube is one breath every six seconds or ten breaths per minute. Cricoid pressure or selic maneuver should be used routinely during airway management of cardiac arrest. True or false? False. Cricoid pressure or selic maneuver is not recommended to be used routinely during airway management of cardiac arrest. List the three drugs which are involved in the ACLS bradycardia algorithm. The three drugs which are involved in the ACLS bradycardia algorithm are atropine boluses, dopamine infusion, and epinephrine infusion. List three likely diagnoses that may cause the following symptoms and signs, distended neck veins, narrow QRS tachycardia, hypotension, and clear equal breath sounds. The three likely diagnoses are pulmonary embolism, pericardial tamponade, and right ventricular, RV, failure. An OCA patient in V-fib has received two shocks and one milligram of epinephrine intravenously. What is your next drug and dose? The next drug and dose should be amiodarone 300 milligrams intravenously. What is the time limit for performing percutaneous coronary intervention, PCI, in STEMI patients after arrival in ED? The time limit for performing PCI in STEMI patients after arrival in ED is 90 minutes. 
What is the recommended target temperature for targeted temperature management after cardiac arrest? The recommended target temperature for targeted temperature management after cardiac arrest may range from 32 to 36 degrees Celsius. What is the recommended dose of magnesium sulfate for the treatment of torsades to points? The recommended dose of magnesium sulfate for the treatment of torsades to points is 1 to 2 grams intravenously over 5 to 20 minutes. What is the recommended dose of epinephrine for pediatric cardiac arrest? The recommended dose of epinephrine for pediatric cardiac arrest is 0.01 mg per kilogram every 3 to 5 minutes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, Feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.